Physical medicine services are commonly used in treating workers with low back pain and other musculoskeletal injuries. This report documents the prevalence of extended physical medicine use among the 28 states for non-surgical low back pain claims. It also identifies several key factors associated with the likelihood of it having extended physical medicine use. For example, the study finds that less coordinated care was among the key factors that are associated with an increased likelihood of extended physical medicine use. The findings will be helpful for those who are interested in finding ways to improve the coordination of care for the purpose of achieving more consistent care to workers for early recovery. The report has four chapters. Chapter one poses research questions and provides a summary of relevant studies on the utilization of physical medicine services in and outside workers' compensation. The data and methods are discussed in chapter two. The key findings and supporting data are presented in chapter three. And in chapter four, the authors discuss the implications of the study's findings. For those who are interested in major findings, the executive summary provides high-level information about the prevalence of extended physical medicine use and workers' compensation low back pain claims, the association between extended physical medicine use, costs, and disability duration, and a short list of actionable factors that are associated with the likelihood of having extended physical medicine use. We hope you found this video helpful and will download the report. If you did like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest research and discussions about important workers' compensation topics. Thanks for watching.